Hello everyone and welcome back to the last lesson on how to get started with XPB. In the previous lessons I showed you how to set up a 3D model, how to import it into XPB, also how to set up the lighting, the camera, the background colors. I showed you how to change between different kinds of models and also how to create materials and change in between materials in a material group. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up some basic pricing and how to add some business rules to your product. So first we're going to start with some basic pricing. We're going back to our configure page. Inside of our product, I can go to the basics. And what you can do if you want is add a base price. So this is something if you have a couch, for example, and you have certain options that will only add to a base price of the couch, you can add this as a base price. But because we have two totally different products, I want to leave my base price at zero and add my pricing to my objects. So I go to configure, go to my attributes, go to my products question, and here I find my chair and my shirt option. If I edit these options, I can find another price. So I'm going to select the plus sign. I can change the region that I want my currency. And then I can add a price. So this price is for a chair. So we can say 250. Okay, I save. Now I have a base price of 250 for the chair. I'm gonna change it also for shirt. Change my region. And select a base price 50. And select save. And now if I save my changes, and if I go back to my preview or as I showed you in the last lesson to my page. Refresh this one to see my new changes. I can see that my chair option is 250. It also adds it up in the top right hand corner. And my shirt is only 50. But now I want to have a difference between my leather option and my fabric option. So these two are the same price no matter what. I want can change that. Now going back to my configure page, I have to go to my material group, open up the chair material group, go to the materials, and we already see a price here. Select the edit button. I want to have a again changes to my current current currency and change this. So I want to have the letter option to be 25. And I want my fabric option to be minus five. So we can use minus pricing to decrease the base value. So if I now go back to my page, refresh this one. We can see my chair is 250. It adds the 25 of my materials to a total of 275. But if I select my fabric material, it will take the 250 of the chair and subtract five from the total price. So this is a basic setup on how to create pricing on components and materials. The next thing I want to do is if I change the shirt, I still have my chair fabric options. And these I want to remove. So I want to be hide these values when I change from shirt to chair. What I can do is set up a business rule. So inside of my rules, so in the top bar, go to rules and select in the top right, add rule. 
you can give your the clue the name you want, it doesn't matter as long as you can find it later on. To add a new business rule, we go to the rules tab, go to the top right hand corner and select add rule. You can give it a name, it doesn't matter what, as long as you can find it in case you have a lot of them. In this case, I'm going to call it light material question. I select confirm. This will open up the viewer to create rules. And we can see in the top left hand corner, we have a broadcast, a check, an action and some utilities. This also works from left to right. So we're going to start with a option change. So this rule is going to change when a, this is the base start of your rule. So this is going to change when a rule starts. I also want to check on an option change because we're going to check if I change from chair to shirt. I can connect these up. In my check options, I can say add check. And I want to check if I switch to shirt. And as an action, I want a visibility. I want to hide a question. So I can connect this up. So if I have my hard question, I want to hide my chair fabric question. But this is the basics of a very simple group. I can save my changes, go back to my page, refresh it. And if I now change from chair to shirt, my fabric options will disappear. The only problem is if I change back to chair, they don't come back. So we need to add almost like a second rule. So I need another check option. But this time we're going to check on when we go to back to our chair. And then as an action, I need another visibility, but I need a show question. And connect these up. And my show question is also going to be the chair fabric. Save my changes. And refresh my page. So now if I change from chair to shirt, my options will disappear. And if I go back to chair, they will reappear. So this is the very basics of a very simple rule. Inside of your rule editor, you always have broadcasts. So from options, questions, steps, materials, you can start your rules from all different kinds. You can also check on different kinds of options. You can also check if some options or materials are active. And as actions, you can have the selection of certain options, colors. You can even select material group or offsets. And you can also display warning messages or alerts. And you can change the visibility of a whole lot of stuff. So inside of the rule editor, you can find a lot of different, uh, different styles to create new rules. And don't be afraid to play around with these. Just check out what they do, how they work. It's very simple. It's just a visual representation. You can drag these around. You can even right click them, copy them, paste them if you need another one. And this is just a way to work inside of the rule editor. Just play around with it and you will find that it's pretty easy to work with. This was the last lesson on how to get started with XPV. If you have any more questions, you can find them in the documentation or you can send us an email.